<laughs> Hi everybody, so we're back. Welcome to our YouTube channel if you're new. Well, why do you say that? What? On every video. What? Welcome to the YouTube channel. No, I don't. I normally say, Hi guys! Ah. So I was trying to mix it up. Yeah, it's wonky, isn't it? <sighs> so. Got some wonky ass camera because the tripod's broke. But we didn't want to disappoint and not do yet again another video because. Right, let's quickly get into this. We don't want a long intro, but basically we had, two days ago, we had a 14 hour overnight bus ride to Hanoi. I did sleep, although I saw every hour, if that makes sense. But it's horrible. Jordan did sleep <laughs> once. So the following day, obviously. Um, felt, you know when you're that tired, you feel like you're hungover. That's, that's like, not just hungover, even I felt it. I was like. And you slept the whole way. Imagine how you sleep. Like, yeah, I know, but I woke up like every single half an hour. So I went to sleep and I slept with you before, but I swear they're only making midges because, like, <laughs> you sat like. But you're going to be like semi laid back. And. Yeah. No, there was, right, we had, we had actually had like a little bicker about this because there was actually people on the bus bigger than Jordan, like men, yeah. and they slept. Well, the good for them. Yeah, so basically Jordan didn't sleep, the next day he slept the whole day basically. But yeah. He was in a horrible mood. Yeah, I was wrong. Like, and I was really hungry as well, because they only stopped on the 40, how long was it? It was 14 hours and then he stopped. He stopped once, once two hours in. Food, but we didn't get off because it was raining. So, luckily, we had biscuits. Oh, you didn't eat them, did you? Look, I did. I was start. Look, we had biscuits and like Swiss roll things. <laughs> She's good, but anyway. Sorry that we haven't obviously been putting up vlogs, that is the reason. It's all Jordan's fault. My fault. Jordan's, Jordan's fault. <laughs> Tom Dolan's fault. <laughs> Alright. So, we are coming at you today with some major news. We are only in Vietnam for another... Uh, it's got 31 days before. Has it? So we're in here for another four days? Four days left in Vietnam and then we've been here for a whole month. Yeah, that's mad, that's fine, boy. That's, that's... I can't, I still can't believe we've managed to travel all the way from the south to the north. I didn't think, I thought we were pushing it for time, but we've done really well, to be fair. It's been so good. We were so, so surprised with Vietnam. We're going to give you a quick update on how it's been. So, Jordan. How good is the wallpaper, by the way? <sighs> oh, and also, we are currently washing all our clothes, so these big... <laughs> Big things. Watermelons yeah. don't have any support, so saggy. Um, we're washing our clothes, by the way, for like a pound. All of our clothes, basically. Yeah, washing and drying. And then oh, yeah. softener, free softener. Um, stuff. So happy days. This is good. Cool. But silky. Anyway, it's a shame we can't stay here tomorrow, but the time. Yeah, they're fully booked because we just are not prepared. We live day to day and it's, it's done as only this time. But it's the first time where it's happened. But anyway, we'll get somewhere else. Anyway. Anyway. It will hopefully be a vlog tomorrow, a normal vlog we we'll have to do something tomorrow. Because today we just went to a swimming pool <laughs> and chilled there for a bit. Because it was the view was really good though. Hot. It was hella hot. Yeah, 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 it was so we did that, and like I say, it was a lovely view there. Yeah, we didn't we didn't take any pictures or anything. We went to this hotel. I'll put the name there. Really Let's recommend it. It, it was like two. The, yeah, two pound, two pound fifty each to go swimming. All day. And on a sunbed, so it was really, really good. Yeah. But anyway, so let's get on to Vietnam and how we found our experience. So, what was your best experience of this whole trip? Obviously, we've still got the three days, but there's not a massive amount that we've got left to see. Has no, you? no, no, wait, wait, wait. Let's. Say it at the same time. I know what it is already. So yeah. I could just be different and not say it, but I know what it is already. Yeah, what, no, say it, be honest, say your, what you thought was the best. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Panic and Tour. I mean, we both completely knew. I knew exactly who was going to say that. I knew exactly who was going to say that. It was amazing though. Yeah, that was really good. So, that we just found off the cuff, <clears> didn't we? Is that the right word? Yeah, because oh, we was meant to get a bus the following morning and then we missed the buses or they'd fully sold out. 
So we thought, oh crap, what are we going to do? Sold out. So then we ended up doing, finding that like random on Google and it was Jordan. really good. Yeah. You surprised me. And if you haven't already seen that vlog, then check it out. I'll put it up here in the car. So yeah, that was really that good. That was insane. Oh, well, I did also rate the Nang to be fair. No, no. What no. was Da Oh, you know what place I really liked? We didn't actually record anything there, but where all the beaches were. Yeah, where was no that? Wow, that place is beautiful, like beach wise. Yeah, just that was shit. Lovely, yeah. It was so nice, right? Just, I love vlogging and I love, I just love interacting with the camera, even though it doesn't talk to me. But that place was just amazing and we didn't, mm. we didn't record any of it, which I'm a bit gutted about because the. We took, we took a couple of days off, didn't we? But just, that's the one thing that's the problem to be fair, the Vietnam is the beaches are the lovely. What are the waters look warm? And really clear. And really clear, yeah. I actually yeah, I rate, I rate, the, rate beaches. the beaches. Oh I I've got a question, because I know my answer. Mm -hmm. What was you most surprised at like you paid the price and you got like loads? I know what your answer is already. What? The theme park place. The theme park, oh my god. Yeah. We paid like Eight, six, six pounds each yeah. and we got like a full buffet of food which was delicious by the way. With drinks. With drinks and then the rides were amazing. Yeah, the rides were really good. And we, didn't, ride. we didn't even get to the ride of the rides and we were there early. We were so surprised, it was probably one of the best days as well. And it was such a good park, it was so clean. Like it puts the English ones to shame. Yeah. How dirty they are and that. Uh, and the staff are really friendly. And the staff are really friendly, it was spot on experience. Spot on, 10 out of 10 times us. <laughs> Should we rate all of our places that we've been so far out of 10? You'd like to know that, wouldn't you? Do you know, do you know I actually don't reckon there's any. But we haven't been to them like that. No, but we can rate it to show the beautiful viewers out there. But what, where to consider going because some places they might think, oh no, I'm not going to go there. I'd rate every single place that I've, got, I've been. What, a 10? Like a 9. All of them have surprised me in different ways. Yeah, same actually. Like Singapore was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Singapore of the was amazing. Activities and that. Kuala Lumpur was 10, to 10 well, times better than I thought it was going to be. That was amazing. But that was an off the cuff decision. Off the cuff, we ain't got up here. Off the cuff. And. Uh, Penang? Penang. Penang. Penang was good. It was good, but I was a little bit like, not disappointed, but there weren't that much to do there. No, there wasn't that much. That's more like a lazy place where you'd probably go relax. Yeah. So yeah, it was all right. It won't. The evenings were nice, like. I think I can see why, because obviously it's so close to Singapore. Why people from Singapore would go down there and just like, have a weekend there or whatever because it's literally like, a couple of hours away. Yeah, well, I'll definitely go there. <coughs> yeah, I'll go there. Just for like a chill. When you're travelling, you just need somewhere. Like we have Ben Beach, so you just need somewhere where you can just. Because sh you can't do everything every day because you didn't like being dead. ill and You'd dead. Be dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the Philippines was really good, really, really good. So, yeah, all the places we've been have been amazing, but what has been your best experience? What has been your favourite oh, place? Rules. Yeah. Favourite place? I don't know. Can't you pick one? I can pick one. Do you know what I'm going to pick? Singapore. Singapore, just because it was just like... Oh, I was Singapore, so Singapore's, yeah, Singapore is very good. She's very busy. I think I have to do, there's nothing wrong with it. I think Kuala Lumpur is like the up and coming Singapore. But it's not I as busy. I prefer Singapore to Kuala Lumpur, a million percent. Yeah, well, there you are. Different people, different strokes, different folks. Only because of... Uh, <laughs> what? Different strokes to different folks. This is what I have to put up with <laughs> on a daily. Yeah, so my favourite's been Singapore things. Just because cool. of how beautiful it was, it was like things there that I've never ever seen mm. or experienced before, it just blew my mind. Yeah, 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 it's cool. Now we have summed up our trip so far. We've been travelling for, it's coming up nearly three months. Yeah. A couple of weeks, so two and a half months. And obviously we have booked our next destination after here. So on the third, we are flying to somewhere new. I mean, we had it booked. We've had it booked from up there because you had to it before we could enter Vietnam. And I have been dropping hints, telling you that we had it booked. They're not hints. That's me actually telling you. So I don't know why I said hints. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now is the time where we're going to let you know where we are going. Yeah. Okay. Let's do our drum roll again. Ready? <laughs> That'll do. We are going to. Hong Kong! 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 H
<laughs> so we are going to Hong Kong. Yeah. We really, really, really wanted to go to Hong Kong. It just been on our list, but we didn't ever think we'd get to do it right now. So when we saw that Hong Kong was the cheapest flight, we was like, oh my God, get that. Bill. And what's mine as well is that I looked at the map that I saw it, and we've actually done almost a full circle. If you look on the map, we're starting up in the Philippines, then we went to Bali. Then Malaysia. Then Malaysia. Then Singapore. No, no Bali, Singapore. Singapore. Malaysia. Malaysia. Vietnam. Vietnam. It's almost think, a full circle, and then Hong Kong's almost finishing that circle. So we were four hours away from Australia, which is where we're ending up, and now we're like double. <laughs> so yeah, but we had to anyway because of the seasons. It's worked out in our favour without even needing to. Yeah. So anyway, we are going to Hong Kong. Can you believe it? No, you can't. Neither can we. No. We are so excited. But. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. At the minute, there is a lot of riots going on in Hong Kong, and it's been going on for the past four and a half months ish. Yeah, I think it's that. When we booked it, obviously nearly a month ago, we thought that oh, it might stop. It might have stopped and calmed down. I don't think it has, but I don't think it will. Do you know what? Hong Kong's still a safe place, according to Google. Thanks, Google. <laughs> We're excited to go. Hey. Hey. So we have to just stop recording and then start recording again. Nigga. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy freaking moly. We're Thank looking you. forward to Hong Kong. They seem friendly. What <laughs> thanks for your room port? Well, that's what I'm, that's it. End the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like they are friendly to... Um, They're not bothered with the tourists. It's just for the one and all. Which is fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, we're looking forward to that. We're so excited. We don't really know what we're going to be doing there. No, we not. haven't looked into any of that as of yet. Nope. We are currently looking for flights after Hong Kong to visit somewhere else. So the travels will hopefully be continuing. That's a little sneak peek. But we're going to have a look. There's a few places that we could go. Japan, Cambodia, South Korea. There's, there's all these places that are on the radar. So watch this space, we will be heading off to somewhere else after Hong Kong. So this is the end of our vlog. Again, we're sorry that we haven't been uploading these past couple of days, but we are going to explore tomorrow, so you will have a vlog coming your way from Hanoi. So if you've liked this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, Ding. and give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.